Yo, check this out. This is the new RP2350 Touch LCD by Wave Share, and it has some pretty wild tech. It's powered by the extensive RP2350B, has a slot for an SD card, and even has audio input and output support, which is something we'll review in depth later on my channel. But its main trick is this crazy 172 by 640 resolution. It's super tall, super skinny, and just looks wild. So today we're going to unbox it, check out the hardware, see what it takes to get it up and running, and figure out if this super weird screen is actually as cool as it seems. So let's open it up. See, it comes with an 18650 battery. And here is the device itself. Let's take out the battery. I think these just pop open like this. Okay, here we go. Our battery set that in here for now and then let's open up the main package come okay. set this to the side and here we are we have our USB-C port um, we have three buttons here looks like a power button um, probably a reset button um, or refresh button and then we have our brightness we also have our SD card slot and it seems like just like the other boards all of our GPIO are inside of screws it can not only sit like that, but it can also be at an angle like that. So instead of it facing this way, you see it at like an angle. And if we finish unscrewing the screws, I already did two of those off camera. Um, then we can see what's inside. All right. I think we just lift it up like so. Uh, oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, there's all the screws <laughs> and the battery goes right in there so yeah you put the battery in here um, the three buttons that we talked about earlier we have the boot button which was the refresh button that I thought we have the power button and then we have a reset button um, it also seems like there's a charging LED and the GPIO ports are here and on the other side too. So let's throw in a battery and power it on. Okay, here we are, let's turn it on. So again, this left button is boot, the middle button is the power, and this button, the right button, is the reset. These look like our speaker ports. And I'm not sure where the mic input is, probably here. So let's turn it on by pressing this. Oh, it's very, very bright. Can't control the brightness right now, but we can hold it like this. Just like the other WaveShare Touch LCDs, we have a QMI uh, and we have an RTC. So that's what we have here. And if we hold this, then we have a drawing test and you can click and it will draw. So this is the provided demo. And we can power it off again just by uh, probably pressing or holding this. There we go. And charge it by the USB-C. Let's take a quick look at what's on board. So you see here we have the RP2350B, 
we have 16 megabytes of flash we have an rtc chip which is number three we have an audio codec chip uh, we have our microphone um, next we have our display connector number six um, for seven we have our usb-c port um, next we have our sd card slot um, and number nine we have our qmi uh, which is the gyroscope the accelerometer uh, and then lastly we have the 16 pin through holes um, which is our gpio ports if we scroll down we see the other definitions um, it says we have our debug pins here ground clock dio um, we have our lithium battery header so this is if you wanted to attach an external lithium battery um, you could connect it to the header there uh, number 13 we have our speaker header if you wanted to connect an external speaker uh, number 14 is our boot button 15 our power button 16 reset 17 we have the charging indicator and then lastly we have um, our battery holder which takes an 18650 battery so let's take a quick look at the pin definitions uh, we have a ton of exposed ports um, like we read earlier there's 16 and then we have our three d pug um, it seems like we also have a five volt in a battery um, port and then a whole bunch of um, UART compatible ports um, more specifically it seems like we can use 41 through 46 um, for ADC which is mainly for audio and things like that uh, we have a bunch of spy ports I squared C now as a music producer one of the things i'm most excited about is the onboard audio codec it seems like we can not only record audio but we can also play it back so maybe we could turn this into an mp3 player or a video player or some type of audio visualizer so what's the final call on the waveshare rp2350 touch display Honestly, it's a fantastic and totally unique piece of hardware. The build quality is solid, the IPS screen is gorgeous, and the touch is super responsive. The real magic though is the RP2350B chip, giving you a ton of performance with its dual core processor and flexible architecture. So is it for everybody? Probably not. That unique resolution means you can't just throw any old interface on it. You really have to design for the shape. But that's also its greatest strength. This isn't for making another boring boxy project. This is for the maker who wants to build something that stands out. A slick desktop widget, a custom handheld remote, or a data display that actually looks awesome. It's for anyone who looks at a weird screen like this and thinks, oh yeah, I know what to do with this. So what about you? What would you build with a screen like this? A custom audio visualizer? A slick weather station? Drop your best ideas down in the comments below. And if you want to see me actually build a full project with this display, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. I'm Jay Blinked. Thanks for watching. Peace.